Good morning. We are back in the kitchen at Treetop Lodge for Connie's Kitchen with Dave Kalminer. And a lot of you probably know Dave. He's worked at Meyer for, what, like 30, 40 years. Um, but Dave and I have been friends for a long time. We bonded over a cat, Miss Gypsy. Yes. Yes. And so Dave is going to take the lead today and prepare one of his favorite dishes and in your own way because... You'd have a different way of doing things. Yes. 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 So what do you want to do first? Okay. What, what do you well, call this? We're doing a German pot pie. Um, oh, and explain it's a, the it's difference. A, it's a misconception. Um, when people think of chicken pot pie or uh, turkey pot pie, they think of uh, something served in a pie crust or, or something of that sort. And actually, that's a meat pie. Um, pot pie actually comes from Pennsylvania Dutch. And it's a Dutch dish, and it's more like a stew or a soup. And I'm going to make that for you. This has been in our family since I know my uh, my grandma used to make it. And we're going to make this uh, as kind of eases out. Well, I had to pull my hair back and wash my hands. Um, so my hair by the way, it was interesting. Me. My it, hair looks fabulous. It does. It does. It was do. interesting. What? It was interesting getting here this morning. When I pulled into the, uh, <laughs> the drive, there were... Uh, they were cutting trees, and the big old truck was in the way. Yeah, well, you're going to hear a little bit of that in the background, and it's they're tr doing the power line trimming thing. So, anyway, right. so if you hear a loud sound in the background, that's what it is. It's not the house blowing up. Okay. So what do you want to do here? So first thing we're going to do, uh, you'll bring uh, about half a pot of water up to boil. And I'll let you you're going to use uh, bouillon cubes, two bouillon cubes for are these flavoring. Beef or chicken or what? These are, you can use either. These are chicken. Okay. I bet you I can get mine open first. Probably. You've had more practice. When in doubt? Rip it out. Oh, for gosh sakes, Dave. <laughs> Maybe we should have opened these beforehand. Need a hand there? <laughs> Is yours open? <laughs> yes. Ar, 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 ar. Yeah, you're you got right. It? Okay. Whoop, whoop. Well, it is hot, you know. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So we'll let that dissolve in there. Um, I'm doing a half uh, uh, recipe right now. Um, you'll get two packages of uh, Polish kielbasa is what we use. Now, um, point out what you're doing here. As you notice, Dave is, has one arm, but I do <laughs> doesn't slow him down at all. And he's got this cool cutting board that has a, a corner for balancing things and also stainless steel sta for Nails. holding things yeah. in place. Yes. So there you go. So, I think that's really cool. So how much of that ends up on the floor? None. None. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, when I cook, everything ends up on the floor. Here, for some it. reason, I don't know why, but we never use the ends. I don't have a reason for that, but it's habit. That's from the old style handmade sausages and such. The casing at the end was just all dried up, so okay. we cut that off. Look at this cool knife, huh? It, first time I've used a rocking knife. It's called a rocking chop. A rocking chop. I okay. love it. So after you do this, is this going to go straight in the pot? This will go straight in. Yep, you okay. can toss them in there for you to trust your fingers around me. <laughs> well, I'll wait till you're done cutting. Okay. <laughs> you said it's the first time you've used one of these, so. Yes. At least you're not waving it around like I do. I have a tendency to uh, get a knife in my hand and stand here and talk with it like this. Kyle says that looks rather threatening when I do that, so. Be standing next to you, I agree. <laughs> So is okay. this, now, the, where'd the cutting board come from? Did you make it? Uh, well, when I had my accident, um, I started uh, obviously noticing that I'm going to need some assistance with doing different household things in mm -hmm. the house. And I like to cook. I like to bake. And uh, my wife and I, we share doing uh, dinners for each other, and sometimes we do dinners together. His wife is Jackie. You know her from Meyer, too. Yes, and she was on here also. She was. Yes. She was on uh, mac and cheese we made. Yeah. Yeah. Good episode. Good mac and cheese. She's a natural saucer. Yes. Yes, she is. <laughs> so, and, um, so uh, I, you know, I, I just went to a special um, uh, hospital uh, uh, and daily living need place, and uh, they have all kinds of great things, and I found this to help. Steady items when I need to cut. That's a great. I, obviously, I can't anchor something while I'm cutting it. Yeah. Well, that's. I think that's great. All right. All right. That's and it. That's that. 
I put the lid back on? Yes, ma'am. It's hot. Thank you. Yes, sir. Now what are we going to do? Are you, okay. done with, are you done with this for right now? For right now, we'll need that um, just set it for the uh, potatoes just later. Just some more okay. room. So what next? Okay. Then comes your, you're going to make homemade dough. Uh, it's really easy to do. Um, I'm going to show you here how to do it. I have my little cheat card. No matter how old I get or how many times I do it, I always look at my recipe card to make sure I'm not messing things up. Okay, keep talking. I'm going to grab the flour to flour sure. that board. Because okay. you wanted to roll so it. So you have two cups of flour. I'm going to take one egg. Just put it right back in the little bowl. All right. Oh, here it is. Okay, here it is. Okay. Now, I've always wanted to hang around the kitchen with a rolling pin in my hand. <laughs> And you're going to take some water because you want to get the dough so it's not flaky and not, not too runny, right in between. So you add a little at a time. A little at a time. You going to yeah. do this by hand or do you need a fork or something to mix it? Okay. Well, that's the best way to do it. By hand. He did wash his hands before we started. I watched. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to add a little more water for me, Miss Connie. More on here. Thank you. What do I always say? Do a little at a time because you can't take it out. Yes. I know. So this is just going to be like a classic egg noodle. I guess I've never done an egg noodle. Well, that's kind of what you're making. Okay. And you're not going to add salt or pepper or? No. Probably not well, well, garlic. Uh, um, the recipe does call for onion, but I'm not a big onion fan. Okay. Um, onion as in fresh onion or like onion yeah. powder? I've... I've assumed diced up. I don't know. Okay. I've never used it. I just see it's in my recipe, but... Now, whose recipe? You said that's your grandma's? My grandma's. Yeah. yeah. I remember my mom making it when I was young. More? It's a very... Uh, yes, a little more. more. It's, it's a very comfort time. food. Oh, yeah. Especially on... We're getting towards the end of winter, but we still have snow and chilly temps and such, so... Yeah. 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 What man doesn't like Polish kielbasa meals? <laughs> well, I'm not big, and I've said this before, the, those types of meats and such. Okay. But I, I, so it's good to see a recipe like this because it's something that I normally... Need a little more water, please. You know, I, I cook brats and such for Chris sometimes. Okay. Um, but this is a completely different take on it, like basically building a sauce with the, with the kielbasa. It's starting to finally firm up here to do... So are these going to be like dumplings or noodles? We're going to uh, roll it out with a rolling pin. And we cut them into squares. Okay. Cool. And, uh, and depending, on the, depending on how <clears throat> you can decide uh, the thickness of the dough that you want when you roll it out. I like my noodles a little thicker. So you call them noodles even though they're squares? They're called noodles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is, this is like going back to old school cooking and I love it. Yes. You know, it's, it's um, not pasta, it's noodles. We'll need to spread some flour. Yes, sir. Um, I have the yeah. flour right here. See how handy I am? Is that enough? You want more? Yeah, a little on top. It gets real sticky to your fingers. Yes, I see that. Yes. I'll let you wash your hands during the break. Okay. <laughs> All right. All, All right. right. Nice consistency there. How are you going to use a rolling pin? Well, first you want to flour your rolling pin because this will stick right. to it. But I thought about it when you asked me, and I, I know you're great at everything, but I thought I don't. I even tie my own shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get this process started, and we'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay. Um, just kind of get the rest of the mechanics, and then you can see us roll them out. So, right. do you want me to begin rolling? Yes, please. That's how you get the rolling done. Catch us anytime on YouTube. Go to Oxford Community Television YouTube.
We here at OCTV cover the local events and government meetings of Oxford, Addison, and Leonard. We also produce and edit programs for you viewers out there. With the leadership of our station manager, Bill Service, we have been a very successful team winning awards from the state of Michigan for best electronic media, giving attention to our local veterans. We also won awards for excellence in directing and educational programs. With the help of our great new equipment and our technical directors, we write, produce, and broadcast our local news for you. Without our production manager, Terry Stiles, our channel and station wouldn't be the well-oiled machine it is today. She coordinates the editing assignments and shoot schedule with our editors and camera people. OCTV and its communities make a great team. And we're back. Before you do that, did you did you all see my apron? We uh, my birthday was last week, and we had a party here Saturday night. Yes. And this was one of my gifts. And it says, "Always be yourself, unless you can be a unicorn. Yeah. Then always be a, a unicorn. unicorn." And Nancy will absolutely love this. So thank you, Amy. Mm -hmm. If you notice, I have some flowers. Larissa and Brad and Terry. Dave brought this today. It's an antique cocoa tin. It says it's a good luck charm. Good luck. So I, that's explaining what some of this stuff is back here. All right, so finish okay. rolling. He's okay. answering the question, how do you do this one-handed? With one hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, depending on how thick you like your uh, dough, you know, this is homemade dough. It's really easy. Um, you know, it's a little involved, but it's, it's really not that bad. And if I can do it, you know, you can do it. Actually, it's very simple. It's, yes. it's flour and egg with a little bit of water. Then we're going to cut them. They don't have to be perfect squares, but you're just going to make... Let me get rid of this. Uh, we might need it. I'll just um, keep it here handy. Okay. We might need this. <laughs> um, then you just lay these in the pot. These take about 20 to 30 minutes to uh, cook. Um, after after you get your uh... and we're not just tossing them in. No. Okay. Yeah, be careful. Them. You want to burn yourself. Kyle, did you get a shot of the pot? <laughs> <laughs> on the, on air see. direction. Maybe you should say, <laughs> Kyle, will you get a shot of the pot? He will. Because I want you guys to see what's going on inside the pot. Yes. It's a little close it's quarter here good. today. It is. It's smelling, smelling really good. good. Too. And all we're smelling is the bouillon. And then whatever seasoning was in the sausage, right? Yes. You did the uh, Polish kielbasa really has sufficient um, flavoring for this. Um, they used to make this back in, um, in the days, you know, when people were, you know, struggling and didn't have a lot in the old country in the old days. Um, there it is. And along with this, they would. Uh, you some, have something that's called wilted lettuce, and all that is is iceberg lettuce, just lettuce. And they they would take the broth from this and uh, pour it over very generously the uh, the lettuce and eat that. Have some roughage to go with the uh, um, the pot pie. That is old school. Yes. I want to see what this feels like to cut. That's why I'm, I'm not taking it away from you. Oh, that is. Oh, you're fine. No, it's real easy. It just goes right through. Yeah. yeah. You want to make them kind of big. Like that. All right. I'll let you finish those while I do these. Put these in. Oh, they're plumping up. Yes. Now, do I want to bring this yes. back up to a boil? 
Oh, it should be on a boil still. Okay. Yep. The boil, it, the, it took it down a little bit when we added the pasta, that's why I asked. Yep. All right, so we're done with this. It's got to boil for about 20, 30 minutes. Okay. Hot <clears throat> lid, hot lid. Now you want to do potatoes. Yes, we move on to the potatoes. We will have to peel them. Peel them? Yes. We never peel potatoes. We like potato skins. But it's your recipe, yes. so you can do whatever you want. It's not that great in pot pie. All right. All right. So. Again, look at this. I think I'm going to have to get a cutting board like this. Look at how easy it oh, is. I thought you were going to say a cutter like me to do your peeling. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at how easy that is. Don't watch your fingers. I'm watching. That is actually, and you're good at it, but it's, it actually seems easier than when I'm standing here and holding it with a peeler. It is, pretty much. You know what, I need another cutting board. Do I, am I going to dice the potatoes? Um, we'll cut them, but not dice. They're going to be larger than that. Because when you put the potatoes in, um, they sort of melt. Okay. And uh, oh, yeah. you put them in in the last 10 minutes of uh, the boiling of the noodles. Okay. So that they're done... Yeah, so they still have some integrity. Yes. Do you want like slight, thick slices? Um, I'll show you one and then you can do it. About like that. Oh, big and then chunk. And this you will cut in half. Okay. So you want about like that. All right. Okay. So you don't want a small dice. And no, that makes sense because if it's going to sit, then you'd end up with mashed potatoes. Right. Plus they'll, uh, they'll disintegrate in there. Yeah, that's what I mean. Real quick, yeah. You wouldn't, you, because you do want them to still have some tooth to them. Right. Okay. Are you throwing potato peelings on the floor on purpose? No. But don't worry, I have unicorns that come <laughs> afterwards. Today my unicorn only has one arm. Like one horn? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a that's a flying purple people eater. Where did that come from? The that 60s. is so cool, Dave. I mean, it's it's just so cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, when you said you had a special cutting board, I didn't, I couldn't mm -hmm. imagine. It's just such a simple concept. It is. So while he's peeling, keep watching him because it's fascinating. Um, I'll do my quick spiel. I'm Connie Miller from Treetop Lodge, and this is Connie's Kitchen. And you can reach me at 248 933 4579. Hit me up on Facebook, Treetop Lodge Oxford. Our beautiful website, treetoplodgeoxford.com, or you can email me at stormy3958 at att.net. Thank you. And we have mm -hmm. wine dinners coming up and the alpaca shearing in May and weddings. I got another call about a wedding yesterday. The lady's coming up to look. Sounds like a wonderful group. So, you know, you're peeling them faster than I'm... I had one ready for you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so our next wine dinner, I'm not sure when this will air, is, is March 25th. And I don't have dates for April yet. But people have asked, yes, of course, Dean is still my sommelier. I would, there'd be no point in me doing the wine dinners without him. There really wouldn't. It's and wonderful having friends, isn't it? It is. It is. I was reminded of that Saturday night. It was quite overwhelming. There was about 35 people here, and... Everyone was so kind and generous with their Yes, affection. and were you in there when Larissa gave us instructions to uh, um, sometime this week let you know how much you mean to us? Well, I'm going to embarrass you on the air <laughs> and let you know how much I appreciate your friendship and then how open you and uh, Chris were when I got married to Jackie. Oh, that was such a beautiful day. And you guys have just been... Just really great friends. Well, and we love you. you. And and you and I started over a cat. Yes. Chris found a stray kitten one night. Long story short, she lives with Dave now. Her name is Gypsy. Well, I appreciate that, Dave. And that's kind of what I felt Saturday night. I was just trying to explain it to Kyle. Several times I got a little overwhelmed because I kind of felt like the person that I've been trying to grow into and be, I actually am now. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And I could feel it. Finding and, yourself. Yeah, and then having, I mean, I've got the best quality people in my life. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, well, you and Jackie are a perfect example of that. And uh, I think that should be enough. Oh, I hope yeah. I do the other end. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Look at this. Now, who sweeps up when you cook? I do. <laughs> I know you do. I've seen your house. It's very clean. <laughs> All right, we're going to finish chopping, and then we'll come back, and we'll figure out where we're going from there. All right. So how am I doing with the potatoes? Excellent. Look good. That one was a little small, but... Just think, what if we didn't have local TV and radio? Where would I go for local sports, local politics, a mayor, city council, stuff that affects me every day? How about health? Who's covering things that endanger my family? I need to know now, as it happens, from sources I trust, people in my community. No agenda, no bias like you find on cable and social media, just facts. For news I can trust, I stay local. Support your local station. Text TV to 52886 today. Hi everyone, I'm Bill Lansdowne, retired chief of the San Diego Police Department. The first step to protecting your smartphone is to add a simple passcode lock on your phone. It's an important first line of defense. For all Android devices, follow these simple steps. Go to Apps, tap Settings, tap Security, tap Change Screen Lock. Welcome to American Legion in Oxford for the best fish on Fridays. That's right, from noon to 8.30, you can get the best walleye in Michigan. You can get walleye, baked cod, chicken strips, baked potatoes, and more. On the hall side of the Legion, oh, hello there, friends. You can have 12 friends on a table, any one of the best military museums in Michigan. On the dining side, oh, hello again. More comfortable with many four-seat tables and a couple of five-seaters. Now, on Friday, we have usually have about four to 500 best friends for our fish. Carry out. You bet. We have 50 to 60 carryouts at the post. We have some young fins with the birthdays and some of our best seniors at the post. Though you have waitresses, they go like a track waitress to get your food. If you have never enjoyed our secret famous walleye at the Legion, come on in. Every Friday from noon to 8.30 at the American Legion Post, 108 on 130 East Rainer Road, Oxford. back I was just showing Dave um, J Michael got me this for my birthday it's an olive dish and it says I love you <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're gonna now actually you made a second pot because mm -hmm. we didn't know if it'd be ready but actually we're right on schedule yep. but we're gonna throw this in give it about another 10 minutes and then Dave is going to explain and serve can you imagine that a man on schedule <laughs> whoa okay I'm gonna stir this a little you want to make sure uh, sometimes you have to push your noodles down because they have a tendency to float to the top just to help with the uh, the boiling of them to get them right. Woohoo! It is hot. Yes. Don't splash yourself. Well, oh you, no. You do this all the time. All right. Okay. Well, that is pretty. That is pretty, pretty, pretty. Mm. All right, and I'll put this back on. All right, so we're going to let that go, but now you have the finished product here. Yes. This man got up and made this this morning before he came here, and it's still hot. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take that off. Oh, look at how the thick juices. and yeah. rich that is. Oh, look at that. I'm going to let you serve. I'm just looking at it. Look at that. That's that. I've got mm. the potato and the noodle and the meat and everything. I'm going to let you try it. Uh... Oh, right out of the pot. Thank you. Yes. Mmm. Mm. Oh, tender. Yes. Really tender. Yes. Mmm. That's lunch. It's actually really good to uh, heat back up. Um, we'll leave the pot on our stove, and throughout the day we'll go back and get another bowl and eat it. It's not something that you have to throw in the, the refrigerator right away. Well, there's nothing in there to spoil. Right. Right. Now, do you have a little bit of herbage in here? Um, there's parsley. Oh, okay. Parsley, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, scoop some up. Okay. Are you going to come back? I would love to come back. Good. And bring more recipes? Sure. Look at this. The broth doesn't really um, thicken, but it looks thick. 
Because it yes. takes on the color from the pasta. Look at the size yes. of these noodles. Mm. Oh, gotta love noodles. Noodle cadoodle. <clears throat> Go ahead and make some for yourself. And okay. Do this. I'm just dying to. I mean, I love noodles. This is very, um, very similar to a spetzel. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. And there's, there's no seasoning other than the bouillon right. and the seasoning from the meat. I think that uh, the poorer people came up with this. I think so. They didn't have a lot of the things that we're blessed with today. Well, that's like... Uh, it's, it's a very simple dish. It is. Well, that's like the Italian wedding soup I make. Mm -hmm. um, the whole idea behind that was that when there would be a wedding in the village, in a village, and nobody had a lot. But everybody had something. Right. So you get a pot going, and everybody would bring what they could, be it a potato or a tomato or a piece of chicken or whatever. So it was never the same thing twice. Mm -hmm. But it was a it was a celebration. It was the same kind of thing. Mm. And if you go back, mm. you know, it's fun to do highbrow recipes and such, but some of your best food and your healthiest food comes from these simple old traditions like right. that. So there's nothing wrong with that. Just back to uh, the cooking pot. Um, what you want to do is, uh, after 30 minutes, pull a noodle out, cut it in half, and make sure that it's cooked all the way. That's how you'll know it will gauge the uh, potatoes for you. And when the noodles are done, uh, it's ready to be served. The noodles are wonderful. Who would oh, ever think of a you. big hunk like that? It was a noodle. Mm-hmm. Well, the you, wonderful. I gotta tell you a funny story. Uh, we ma I made this one day with my boys, and we were eating, and... Uh, my oldest son was telling us a story about his school teacher. Uh, I guess he was sick, wasn't feeling well, ate some of his food poisoning, and um, for some odd reason, they decided to go get ice cream. Well, I guess uh, the lady asked him, you know, how can I help you? And yeah, right oh, on goodness. her counter. And when he told me that story, I had a mouthful of Popeye, and I blurted out and <laughs> shot it all over my own son in the meantime. Went on his glasses, his, in his food. Lovely. <laughs> Poor Sean. And that's the kind of stuff we like to talk about in the kitchen while we're cooking. Now, I'm thinking you could also, if you wanted to, you could throw carrots or celery, you absolutely onions, can. different stuff you, in yes. there. You can You're not a big fan of onions, uh, so onions? you probably wouldn't add the onions, but you could. We've never done carrots, but I have seen carrots, and I think... Uh, some celery, celery in there. Celery, yeah. Yes. And I'm thinking even stuff like rutabaga mm -hmm. and parsnips and turnips and different things, which yes. are all very common. Yes. So this is wonderful, Dave. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Oh, gosh, my pleasure. Finally got you here. I'll get him back. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have lunch. This was episode... 57. Thank you. <laughs> which will be up in a couple of weeks. And um, in the meantime, I'm going to have lunch with my buddy here mm -hmm. that he's going to clean up. And I'm going to tell you to come back and visit us again soon. Remember the promise. Give me a clink. Be kind to one another. <laughs> and we'll see you soon here in the kitchen. Mm. Mm -hmm. Brings back memories. part of your community. We all play a role in keeping our community safe. So protect your everyday. If you see something suspicious, say something to local authorities.